Well, it looks like Candy and Marlo got into it on the last episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Let's talk about it. So the ladies are in Jamaica. Everybody's having a good time. Everybody has a plus one except who? Your girl Kenya. She is by herself. She is solo. But Sonia helps her out to be her little wingman and finds this guy at the resort and gets his number. And Kenya invites him to dinner. And that didn't go too well. Like it's just a dinner date. Relax everybody. Okay? Just calm down. How old are you? Me? Me? Yes. I don't even know the answer to this. That question was from Sheree. Uh, How old do I look? uh, I said 28. 28? So to me, it all started when Marlo asked Ralph, who's Drew's husband, about him writing a book about parenting. And that's when it all went left. Marlo, how's the boys? We'll talk about it tomorrow. Okay. Okay, it's just not that. Ralph, Drew was telling us that you were writing a book. What's going on? How's your book going? Oh, the uh, the step-parent to... My son, Josiah, which I also claim to be my real son. But there was a big journey that went through. I congratulate you for adopting him. Like, you're going to be going to adopt him, right? I cannot logically adopt him if his father wants to be a part of his life. So wait, wait a second. Drew, did you know that? He did make the decision that he wanted to adopt Josiah, but he had a conversation with Josiah's biological father, and that conversation led him to feel uneasy about moving forward because Josiah's biological father has expressed that will break his heart. You know, it's hard. Like one day, I'm your foster child. So I'm like, how are you going to adopt me? Then you're not. I was a foster child. There's not that many foster moms that make you feel loved as much as their children. So I don't want JoJo growing up thinking, oh, he loves his other two more than he loves me. It's hitting too close to home for me. There's no blueprint to how to do this. You're okay with it. You're okay that he told you I would adopt your son and now I changed my mind because it's dad's family. I'm sorry. It's weird to me that you're going so hard about it. When you yourself are going through y'all situation. I thought you would be hurt. Wait, so Marlo, so Marlo, this is one thing. Jojo knows that he has two fathers. I want to help him navigate that. I'm not here So like you can do from my toe away like a friend. But I'm not going to make it official. Like you're not going to be on my taxes. You're not going to be my responsibility full time. It's just going to be if I want to be here to support you mentally. I don't think I have responsibility full time. Anything you live. Like, wait, 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 wait. You love a child. I'm a foster child. So no matter what you say, what's weird, it can be weird to you because you have your situation. Your situation is different from me. Your situation is weird that your mother comes before your man. And nobody did to my mother. Now, comment down below what you think. Do you think that Candy puts Mama Joyce before Todd? I don't think so. I think she just takes care of her mom. I mean, who wouldn't? I mean, all the money she has. I think she was wrong for saying that, but comment down below. What you need to worry about is your own situation. You need to worry about your own situation because everything you're sitting up here saying about him, you can try to tell you what I'm Worry about your relationship and your family you do not think that it's weird that you sent your nephews back and made them feel like Hell no. Away? You don't think it's weird that you have to no, let your man feel belittled when it comes to your mother? This is what Marlo wanted. She wanted to start some mess. At this point, I think Kenya's date got up and left. You said that you sent them to their aunt, who also has kids, in a two-bedroom apartment. Kids. But then you take on your nephew? Yes, you already and I, I kept him the you whole time. Whole He's a you grown man, and I'm man. still there for him. You're, you listen, you take care of a man, your family. I don't take care of no man. Now you done lost your you know mind. You started to take care of a man. That's I, low. I do not. All right, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. And now you try to disrespect my husband that's sitting right here. Is that what no you're trying to do? Is real. I do not yes, take care of Todd. I never take care of Todd. I do feel you're opportunist. What do you think I'm getting out of it? <laughs> what you getting out of it? Your mother is the truth. My mom talks. I do not have to take care of my husband. Your mother doesn't lie. So your mother's a liar? My husband liar? always had a great, a great job. Is your mother a liar? That's your friend. Girl, you there? I am neutral. I am not in it. 
Let's bring this back she's down. She's trying. Let's bring she's this trying. back down. She's trying. She's trying. She's trying to get up under my skin. That's what she's trying to do. Right, let's bring it back down. Stop worrying about his kids, and you worry about helping your, your nephew. And you worry about That's your man you and your about. kids. Yeah, okay. You I always worry about, about mine. Yeah. You, can't, you can't be a mother like that and work as hard as you do. You are a mother. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Do you not work as much, man, if I had one for my mother? Whatever, girl. You ain't even got a husband. Get a husband. And then you can tell me what to do with it. You more than a lot of people entertain. The fed up part is you repeating some bullshit that you know From ain't true. From my mother. That you know ain't true though. What do I know is not true? Girl. Because you know how I know you, how you came into this circle. How did I come in the circle? You brought your way into this circle. How? Nobody was your friend. Ooh, I came with Pedro. None of them was your friend at the time. I watched, I, I, was, I was behind the okay, scenes on this Girl, in Africa, you said she was country, lame, Ooh. and that you just, it, like, I mean, I'm not even gonna go there with you. Like, I literally met Todd on the trip to Africa and did not even speak to him until the last day of the trip. Todd works in television production. On his birthday, of all days, we talked all night long, and from there, he was like, hey, when we get back to Atlanta, I would love to go out. And we've been going out ever since. So are you gonna say that he said something about me before he ever met me or talked to me? Okay, girl, well, he fell in love with this country bumpkin then, if that's what you're saying. Ooh. We'll have to tell what's already been told and what we already know. No, you a clown. You a lying ass bitch. Hey, you are you not know nothing ass bitch. You know what? Hey, you I hope this. Remember this. Remember you remember this. this. You remember you this. Remember this. Remember this. Remember you this. Remember 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 worldwide. I mean, Escape sold records everywhere. PLC, no scrubs, worldwide, baby. Well, Candy did do Broadway. But that's just New York. Being flown all over the world to sprinkle baby powder on old white men? Okay, Marlon, you got your first worldwide. You're known for being a worldwide pet. Bitch, when y'all was all the way over in Japan, you could damn put my song up in the karaoke, bitch. You're not just the songs I sang, but the ones I write, too. Now, what did you say in Africa? She was country, and you were gonna get in New York, that she wasn't known in Atlanta. What did you say, Todd? She was old country bumpkin. Oh, he's a proud way. Todd, he said she was a country bumpkin. I don't even talk to you. Like, how would I even talk to you in... In Africa, oh, bring something, bring something. When, when, you was the one, you was the one out there throwing money around. Remember that? Sh Did John go home? Did John leave? John said this. John went to his room. John said, "I'm gone." <laughs> so one thing you don't do, Marla, you cannot come for Candy's mom, and you cannot come for her man. I can't wait to see the next episode. This is a lot. Bam. And on that note, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you comment down below what you think about this video. Is Candy Worldwide? Didn't she write a couple of songs, a couple of hits? Is Marlo Worldwide? Bye, guys.